Palomino Jordan 1s are definitely the best Jordan 1 release of the year, hands down. What's good, family? Today we're gonna discuss the Jordan 1 Palominos, which is contender for top five Jordan 1s of the year. In this video, we're gonna show you guys all the little details on this sneaker. We're even gonna lace them up, throw them on feet, so make sure you stick to the end of this video. That way you can make a solid decision on whether or not you're gonna try to go for these on September 2nd. First things first, let's start with the box. This Jordan 1 box has a gold metallic foil vibe on the top size 10 and the label reads black metallic gold palomino nothing else on the box inside obviously we have the kicks red stamp on the inside quality control sticker then we have the kicks that same palomino suede is featured on the toe box the swoosh around the ankle and the collar area of the sneaker quick little 360 the wings logo is actually debossed on this pair so it's popping out there's the metallic gold or yellow nike air and metallic nike air on the insole these actually feature a sail outsole which i feel like is a very clean touch on this pair since it is a more monotone sneaker a lot of people were actually thrown off by this metallic yellow on the tongue but if you guys don't know palomino is a horse which is predominantly brown but it does have yellow or like a goldish tint on their mane so it makes sense for this sneaker to have that yellowish gold i honestly don't find it too off putting on this pair simply because if you wear a pair of jeans it's gonna cover it up anyway so why are we even stressing about it i love what they did with this palomino jordan 3 stupid this is gonna be a silent killer for this fall it almost takes the shadow jordan 1 and adds earth tones to it kind of see why people would want that brown color on the tongue it just makes it more monotone but realistically doesn't really matter bro this is definitely contender for top three jordan ones of the year let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comments quick comparison on the palominos versus the travis scott's suede is pretty similar i would say the palomino has more of a muted suede this is a little more brownish this almost feels a little more muted but it's pretty much on point also the travis's is a way smoother suede palomino's is a little more rough but at a fraction of the price you still get that same color palette i would just go with the palomino's for retail which is gonna be 180 and these release september 2nd is right around the corner if y'all want these make sure you get up go on sneakers because these are gonna sell out i doubt they're gonna have too much resale if any they're definitely gonna sell out personally i like these then i like the palominos and the mochas would be third as far as brown jordan ones go i think the mochas are cool but i just love how much wearability this version has the travis's also have a darker outsole for some reason this is the palominos this is the travis's i also would like to know how you guys would rank these three recent releases for me it's the palominos black toe lows and then the unc toe simply because we have a bunch of unc colored sneakers so i don't think it's as necessary as these two on top if you guys want to win a free pair of jordan one low black toes click the link in the description the rules are simple leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and follow one dot nori on instagram dm me proof to make sure you're not disqualified winner will be able to choose their size for a pair of jordan one low black toes so make sure y'all don't miss out and let me know how you guys would rank these three releases these actually don't come with any extra laces and i don't feel like extra laces are necessary on this pair simply because i would leave the black on there anyway and if they were to give us like a yellow color it would just throw off the whole sneaker i'm cool with the all black maybe a cream pair would have been clean to match the midsole but aside we've done enough talking let's go ahead and lace these up see what they're looking like before we throw them on feet and we end the video off We laced them up and they're looking even sexier in hand now. Definitely top three Jordan ones of the year for me. I love the way they look and I'm excited to finally throw them on feet. There's something about these Palomino Jordan ones that just drew my attention from the first time I saw them. I definitely feel like this is gonna be a banger. Once it drops, they're gonna sell out instantly, if not within the first hour or two. I don't see these sitting at all. Kind of like how the UNC sold out, the Palominos are probably gonna go even faster. 
Blaster simply because we don't normally see brown Jordan 1s and this is a great shoe. Don't sleep in. If you want these, put the footwork because if you don't get them, you're going to regret it. Beware because resale prices on these is going to drop and I don't see it as a bad thing. Y'all already know how I feel. If there's a sneaker you like and the price is cheap, it's even better for you because you don't have to pay pink to get that sneaker in your collection. These release in a week or so, so make sure you enter all the raffles. If you could get them through JD Sports status confirmed, make sure you do it because these aren't just going to be sitting on sneakers. And if I'm wrong, come back to this video and please let me know. That's pretty much all I have for the Palomino Jordan 1s. We're going to throw these on feet and let you guys see what they're going to be looking like. If you guys are excited for this release, make sure you leave a like on this video. Let me know what other early sneaker you want to see on the channel. We have another early review dropping next week on the Jordan 4 Red Cement. So make sure y'all subscribe. More early sneakers on the way. I promise I got y'all. And don't forget to join the giveaway for the Jordan 1 Low Black Toes. All you got to do is leave a like on the video, subscribe, follow 1.Nori. Make sure you do it through the Gleam link. Hey, you could choose your size on a pair of black toe lows. I showed y'all all the little details on the Jordan 1 Palomino. We even laced them up. Now it's time to throw them on feet. That way you can decide if you're going to be picking up this beautiful pair of Jordan 1s come this Saturday. Cause don't worry, I'ma get it, granny What happened now, my daddy had the mo- Parked up outside in the old school The new me back with the OU The dog always finds his way back home and it's so true Balance, find your balance Now that we threw them on feet, you could decide if you're gonna buy these or not. If you do end up deciding to get them, I wish you the best of luck on the release. That pretty much does it for this video. If y'all enjoyed, you already know what to do. Leave a like on this down below. Comment if you're gonna be picking these up or is this an easy pass for you? I would definitely say don't sleep because these are gonna sell out. I don't think resale is gonna be anything too crazy. Definitely gonna fly. Might have a little bit of profit on top because it is a different colorway. They're definitely gonna drop in price from what they're at now. Let me know if y'all end up picking these up on drop day. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch y'all in this video right here because it's what YouTube is recommending you based on your history. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.